What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, since my last video, the Bitcoin price did break $24,000. This is just biblical times in Bitcoin. Yes, we did get a little bit of a rejection above that and shot all the way back down to 21700 and then got a bit of a bounce. And now we're sitting at around 229 it looks like we're getting a little bit of a recovery here. So that's great news, guys. There's a lot of people talking about, is this going to be a big dump? Are we going to get, you know, a 10, 20, 30% dump here? Guys, even in a bull market, a 10 to 20% dump is all part of the program. Unless we get something like a flash crash, you know, dropping 30 to 40%, I'm not worried. This uptrend is still moving up. That's how I feel. I hope you guys know that by now. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the page yet, definitely consider it. I'm making money every single day and I'm doing a giveaway for my Ledger Nano S. That's going to be given away this Friday. So if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and make sure to be leaving comments on the videos because that's how I'll be doing the selection of the random winner. It'll be based off of your subscription and comments on the videos selected. Okay, so you must comment and must be subscribed to win the Ledger. And guys, I wanted to go over a few other things uh, like the virus coming back up in the United Kingdom with a mutation, could that be something that's gonna strike a big fear in the market and cause another massive sell-off? That's on a lot of people's minds right now. Is that something that's gonna to come to fruition? Guys, I sure hope not, and uh, in all honesty, I'd, I'm not too worried about it. Let's dive right into the price action. There's much to go over. Make sure to subscribe and like. All right, so check it out. The Bitcoin price had that bull flag. We pumped all the way up over $24,000. I was talking about right here, this being another bull flag right here. And yeah, we did pump up a little bit, but it didn't pump up as much as I'd like to. I would have liked to see it shoot up to, you know, 20, 25,000, just a real strong uptrend. But we had a little bit of chop. I was talking about there could have been a little bit of chop. Here it is, guys. We moved up, had a bit of a sell-off. And the reason I'm not worried is from, even from the top right here to the very bottom, we're not even talking 10 percent okay so this is just regular price action in a bullish market remember the trend and remember the wedges that I have for you guys set out here we're gonna go to the four hour chart zoom in a little bit here okay so notice this big ascending wedge that I have here and notice these two green lines so right here and right here these are the bottom of the wedge the projected potential bottom so for instance I drew one here originally, but then when the price broke down past here twice, okay, I formed a new line, okay, showing from point here, point here, and point there. So theoretically, we could get a drop all the way down here, which even from right now would be a 15% drop, so about a 20% drop from the top. Now that could come over six days, but if we if we don't get a strong, you know, sell off here I think the price could get a bounce off of, you know which we already technically did you know we got a bounce off of 21.9 here which is uh, the EMA 55 we got a bounce right off of that which isn't a form of resistance or support but in general the EMA 20 and the EMA 55 are the polar opposites showing which direction the price is moving so notice the EMA 20 dipping back towards the EMA 55 right here hence the sell off right there so uh, you know what could happen here, guys? I mean, we could have something, you know, like this. That's not going to happen. You know, we're going to get a little bit of chop maybe and then probably a leg up. That's what I think will happen in the Bitcoin price. A little bit more chop to come. Fear sell off a little bit. Equaling about 10% from the previous top. Very close, about, you know, 8.74. And then a pump up. That's what I think will happen, guys, okay? I don't think we're going to get, you know, a... A flash crash, for instance, a flash crash would be about 30%. So, okay, right below this support, okay? So I don't think that's going to happen. And even if it did, guys, I'm not really worried. You know, this has some extremely strong bullish sentiment. There's a lot of things playing into the Bitcoin price right now, which are making the Bitcoin price really push up. You know, institutions getting involved, adoption happening. It's more readily available for people. The scarcity of the coin is going up. Lots of things are lining up right, okay? And uh, not just the, the dollar becoming worthless. 
That's all over the internet right now, the dollar becoming worthless. If you're holding your money in USD and nothing else, you're just losing massive amounts of money every single month that goes by. I can't stress enough, you guys need to be in investments which are profiting for you, okay? And basically, if you got in on Bitcoin any time in its history, you're in a profit right now. It's that simple with Bitcoin, guys. It's, it's the best asset class in history with over 7 million percentages and gains. That is phenomenal. And in all honesty, there's much more potential gains to come. That's why I'm involved. That's why you should be getting involved. It is not too late to jump on the train, even at 22,800, okay? And I want to talk about a few other coins, guys. I want to talk about Ethereum, which is having another big sell-off from all the way up at 678. It was actually like 680 on Gemini, okay? Same kind of sell-off from the top. The bottom, this one's over 12%. Same theories, guys. I'm not worried about Ethereum. Very strong project. This is all part of the program here, okay? We're basically starting a new aggressive trend out of this wedge, and it's going to continue to push up. I think you know, we'll be $800 by mid-next year. Okay, unless we get something like a flash crash and another big fear sell off. But in reality, guys, I think strong traders are holding firm this time. And in reality, all the traders, it, like myself, when I saw March roll around, I remember messaging my cousin saying, I'm going all in. And he's telling me, no, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a falling knife. And I'm like, nope, I'm putting my money down. Okay, I'm doing it. You know, I believe. I know what's going on. I see the potential here. This is just an opportunity to buy some extremely cheap Bitcoin, and that's what I did. I bought it. I bought at 4.2. I bought at 4.8. I bought at 5.1. I bought at 6. I bought at 7. I bought at 8. I bought at 9. I bought at just over 10. I bought at, geez, I bought at 12. I bought at 14. I bought at 17, what was it? 17.4, okay? And my last buy that I did was at $19,000, guys. That is how much I believe in this. I hope you guys understand just the potential for gains that this has. It's incredible. And just telling you guys the buys that I've done in Bitcoin, the HODL buys, do the math there. Hundreds of percentages of gains there. Hundreds of percentages of gains. That is just, guys, this has been life-changing for me already. Share your story in the comments. Let me know how cryptocurrencies has changed your life, or just let me know your story in general. Let me know how it's affected you. I'm very eager to hear your guys' story. And guys, don't forget, if you want to get that ledger, you have to comment. So definitely comment on the videos. You know, share your story. I'd love to hear that stuff, guys. I want to talk about Link. Excellent buy time, guys, right now, okay? Because this trend is going to continue up. Yeah, we did break below this support trend right here. But in reality, guys, check this out. We could just lower it right here, up the top a pinch. And that looks, you know, this didn't quite touch, but that looks very close with three touches, almost four touches. This looks like the time to buy right now, okay? Because I think this uptrend is going to continue, and I think Link is going to continue pushing up. I think Link's going to be worth, you know, over $100 someday. So looking at these prices now, it's just incredible. And from last year being all the way down at $2 up at $12, you know, 6X, that's, that's amazing. You know, that's something I'm definitely willing to continuously get in on. Okay, guys, and you know my theories here. I've been buying every dip possible. I bought all the way at the low here at 8 I bought last year $2 at $4, and I've been buying every single dip. I even bought this dip at $11, and I told many people to do so. Anybody who's done that in the last month or two has been sitting in a profit, guys. Let me know if you made money on Chainlink, guys, because that's – an altcoin and a lot of people aren't willing to hodl an altcoin they're very you know risk versus reward this might not make it you know there's lots of fear a lot of people have a lot of fear that aren't experienced so you, you know it's it's my job to really teach you that you know what's safe what's not what has more potential what doesn't okay and i think chainlink definitely has a lot of potential for the upside and one more coin i wanted to go over guys which is very popular on my channel is electronium okay guys and this this coin is very interesting right now because we're in the middle of a long consolidation phase, you know, weeding out of weak hands. We're in the middle of, we're at the very base, we're very close to what I believe is the base of bull theory, okay? So for instance, if we scrolled way out, the bull forming through here, you know, like this, and then we'll eventually start to come up. 
So if this were to continue, you know, like this, you know, chopping around, chopping around, chopping around, chopping around, and then getting another big leg up, okay? That's what I think will happen, okay? It, it, it's happened twice since I've been watching it within the last two and a half years, okay? So I think the same kind of thing will happen again, but this time, this rise will be even higher, okay? It will be even higher than the previous one, okay? And uh, a lot of people always tell me, you know, I've been very disappointed with Electronium. I bought in at the ICO price, 20 some cents. My, my money's worth nothing right now. Guys, I, uh, I knew that when they were giving away coin to try to uh, increase people involving in the project, that's going to drive the price down. So I didn't buy in then. What I did then was I mined. I harvested and sold off every chance I could at that point. But in reality, guys, in five years, that coin that I sold, I wish I would have held. It, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting animal, you know, to take profits or to hodl. You know, you got to understand the project. You got to see where it's going. And, you know, believing where Electronium can really go, I see its potential. So, you know, it's when that actually comes to date, it's going to be painful with those beginning sales. But in reality, guys, I, I you know, I wanted to, I wanted to make my profits. I wanted to get in Bitcoin when it was only $3,000. You know, this was two years ago. Okay, Bitcoin price was only three, four thousand bucks. So I was cashing out my Electronium at its high at the time, putting it into Bitcoin and accumulating my Bitcoin at the time. Now at these prices, I've been accumulating a lot of Electronium for the same kind of repeat process. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it again. And if you guys are curious, I do a lot of mining. One of these days, I'm going to make a video on the ASICs and GPU miners that I have. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm trying to stick more towards the trading aspect and what's going on and, uh, you know, what's going on in the markets and, uh, you know, making as much money as well as accumulating to my HODL position. So that's what, you know, you guys should be trying to do as well. Guys, I wanted to talk about the Bitcoin price rebounding despite COVID-20 fears, but is the correction over now? Do you think that it's going to continuously be pushing down or do you think we're going to get a good bounce? Guys, I think we got a good bounce. And I think we're going to continuously be moving up, okay? I think we, you know, shot down in the 21s again. We got a good bounce off. We're sitting at 22, you know, 7 or 8 right now. That's a very good sign. I think that we're going to push back up above 23. And before you know it, we're going to be looking at a 25, 26, 27 thousand dollar Bitcoin easy. But let me go over this real quick. Fear returns to the markets after new mutated strain of coronavirus has been reported in the United Kingdom. So the Bitcoin price has been on a tear in recent months, lead to new all-time highs at 24,000. However, BTC saw a correction on December 21st as the equity markets also opened in the red. Bitcoin's price dropped by 6% on Monday, while the U.S. dollar currency index saw a strong bounce. Such drops of uncertainty appear to be due to the reported emergence of a mutated coronavirus strain in the United Kingdom, and therefore more restrictions on the horizon, which could have a big impact on markets as seen in March. Now, guys, I think I'm a strong trader. So in reality, I'm not afraid right now. I don't think the same thing is going to happen again. And to be honest with you guys, what happened, like verbatim, what happened for me in the last year, I sold off my major assets in October the year before. I didn't know exactly when the crash was coming. I knew it was coming. I talked about it on my Facebook. I talked about it, you know, on my Twitter. I talked... You know, I didn't have YouTube yet then, but if I had YouTube, I would have been telling everybody, get out while you can, get out at your high, rebuy the dip. So anyway, I sold off in October, the massive crash happened. March rolled around, I predicted a 10,000 point drop on the Dow, nailed that as well. Put my money back in there, put my money back into cryptocurrencies at the low at 3,800. And guys, I've been buying the whole time, the whole way through. You know, so from all the way back then, I've been buying and accumulating and you should be doing the same because with the potential price of Bitcoin really shooting through the roof, it is worth it. You know, the risk versus reward, it's worth it, guys. Furthermore, on the four-hour chart, a bearish diversion shows a breakdown from 24,000 to Monday's lows of 22,000. However, zooming out, this is still significantly higher than Bitcoin's price three months ago. While such corrections are very common in both bull and bear markets, Therefore, such dips shouldn't catch experienced traders by surprise. So that's why I'm not worried about this, guys. 
in reality, if you're an experienced trader, this is just part of the plan. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make a video today because it, this is just regular price action. This is boring stuff. You know, we're going to be up at 25, 26,000 in a month. I think, you know, unless there's a massive flash crash and a, you know, a big trend change, we're going to continue this trend up, putting in higher lows and continue moving the Bitcoin price up, guys. It's that simple. And guys, that's all the time I have for today. If you're not subscribed yet, you know, what are you doing to yourself? I'm making money every single day. And guys, I am doing a giveaway for my Ledger Nano S. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment on the videos to be part of that drawing. And if you're not familiar with Ledger, it's definitely one of the safest ways to keep your money off of exchanges or right under your nose so you don't get hacked. Definitely something you guys want to have as part of your, you know, holding your portfolio for sure. And guys, thank you so much for all your support. My channel is just moving. Every single time I do a video, I get, you know, several subscribers. That's awesome. In the early stages, I think that's great. Moving the chains up every single day. And hopefully, you know, in a year or something, I'll finally get monetized and, you know, break, you know, grounds that I've been trying to break and, you know, keep moving the page up. But, you know, it's because of viewers like you guys that I'm, you know, actually getting somewhere. And yeah, I know I'm making good calls and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's the viewers that keep the channel alive and keep the channel moving. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm going to continue making videos for you guys. I hope you guys are making great money along with me. And if you're not, you know, making good money on your own, you're not able to do it or, you're, you know, something is stopping you from making good money, reach out to me. I have, you know, I do, I do lessons for people. I have students and I take investments from people as well. I, I do take a percentage of the profits. But in reality, guys, I do do investments for people. I do help people out as much as I can. I don't just do YouTube, you know, just to throw it all out there and share what I'm doing. I want to help people. I want to interact with people. I want to be able to look back on today and say, hey, I believed. Here's the proof. Here's me talking all about it. And, you know, that's, that's the best feeling. I can't stress enough. When a plan all comes together, it's the best feeling. And, guys, with cryptocurrencies, all you got to do is ride that wave. Thank you so much for all your support. I am Crypto Matrix. I will catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.